Nothing screams summer quite like a hot dog. It makes me want to get outdoors, fire up that grill, but hot dogs, they can be simple. Some of us are ketchup people, some of us are mustard people, some of us are even sauerkraut people, but I am here to open your mind. I want to expand your horizons and toss those three ingredients out the window. I'm gonna teach you how to make my three favorite hot dog toppings. The first one, inspired by one of my favorite cities of all time, is my Chicago style salsa. Comes together really easy. All you gotta do is mix together a quarter cup of thinly sliced red onion, one diced Persian cucumber, a half a cup of chopped cherry tomatoes, a quarter cup of thinly sliced pepperoncini, you can buy them whole and slice them yourself, you can buy them already sliced, a half a cup of tender inner celery leaves, love these, they add so much flavor, a quarter cup of sweet pickle relish, and to bring that all together, we are adding two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Of course, you gotta season it with a little salt and pepper, and then give that all a mix. I know, I know, don't get jealous. You'll make it soon enough. Mmm. This salsa is crunchy, it's fresh, it's packed with flavor, and if you're from Chicago, you know you gotta have that sweet pickle relish. All right, hot dog number two. We are talking apricot mustarda. This is inspired by the Italian condiment mustarda, which traditionally includes some sort of fruit and mustard. Typically, making a mustarda takes forever, but this version only takes 20 minutes. Here's how it comes together. In a medium saucepan, you're gonna add a half a cup of apple cider vinegar, a half a cup of water, one cup of diced dried apricots, two tablespoons of sugar, then you're gonna add one minced shallot and one minced garlic clove. Bring that to a boil and then simmer it over medium heat, stirring occasionally until the apricots are softened and suspended in what looks like a light syrup. Then all you gotta do is stir in two tablespoons of whole grain mustard and one tablespoon of Dijon. Give it a good mix and make sure you season it with salt. Mm. Chew your food 20 times before you swallow. This mustarda is phenomenal. I remember why I created it. It's just a little bit sweet. It's got a nice spicy kick from two kinds of mustards. And of course that shallot and that garlic just makes it nice and savory. You are gonna love this, I promise. But we've still got one more. Do not leave yet. We've got our pickled pepper slaw. It is so good, it's a little fiery, it's super tangy, comes together really easily. All you gotta do is combine one cup of sliced mixed green pickled peppers, mixed green pickled peppers, mixed green pickled peppers, one cup of whatever those are, in a bowl. To that, you're gonna add a half a cup of shredded romaine lettuce, a quarter cup of chopped parsley, and a quarter cup of chopped dill, giving it tons and tons of flavor. Again, we're gonna bring this salsa together with some extra virgin olive oil, plus we're gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper and give it a good mix. Woo. Woo. I lied to you all. I told you that Chicago style salsa was my favorite, but I lied. It's this one. It's so tangy, it's so crunchy. So good, they're all so good. Three of the best ever hot dog toppings, but I'd really like to know what yours are. So let me know in the comments. 